Hey everybody, welcome back. Day three, believe it or not. Three days we've done this already. So on our way to the 50th anniversary of Magic Kingdom. So we're still gonna stay in, uh, in Ma Magic Kingdom today. And my, one of my favorite places is the confectionery. Confectionery bakery, right? You got the smells coming out as you walk in. Do you ever notice when you walk down Main Street, you have all your breakfast items um, on the right hand side of the, of the street. And that's, they actually did that on purpose. So you got the bakery, you have the Starbucks, but you got all those items on the right because more, more people tend to go to the right when they walk in. And then on the left, you're gonna hit the Emporium and shop on your way out. But let's get into today. So something that I've had multiple times, large, small, little pops, all different things, Rice Krispie Treats. But we are gonna make them a little differently. So let's go. All right, to start, we got our pot. We're on uh, about medium heat. And we're gonna add a half a stick of butter or four teaspoons of butter. You wanna get that to start to melt a little bit, move it around. Um, I'm gonna take this step by step this is not a difficult thing to do. As your butter gets to melt halfway down, we're going to add in five cups. It sounds like a lot, folks, but it is not. But five cups of mini marshmallows. Why do you want mini marshmallows? They actually melt faster. So we're going to add those in right now. Okay. And you're going to just keep giving these a stir as these melt down. This is the most important part of your whole step because you want to get you want to make sure that that butter is melting not burning and you want to have the uh, marshmallows start to melt down. Okay as you can see they're all almost the mini marshmallows are completely gone. We pull this out for one second and now this is how we make it a little differently. Peanut butter. That's right folks, you're just going to add a half a cup of peanut butter if you're following the same uh, amount recipe that I'm adding. And we're just going to give that into there. And then we'll use the spatula and get the rest off of the spoon. Now at this point, you do have to watch this and you do have to constantly be stirring. So just keep your eye on it. If anything, you can always lower your temperature um, so that you just stay within it. And you're gonna see it's gonna all melt down and become this beautiful tan beige. You can smell the peanut butter and the marshmallows mixing. Oh, it's delicious. Who doesn't like that? Who doesn't like peanut butter and marshmallows? It's like a fluff nutter. So, right at this point, keep stirring. Everything's fully incorporated. I'm going to add five cups of the Rice Krispie treats. Uh, Rice Krispies. We'll make the treats. And this is where you want to fold over the top, through the middle. Don't stir, just keep folding. Now, while you watch me stir, folks, 50 days, the 50th anniversary is coming, October 1st. I hope you're starting to enjoy these, as you can see. Um, I told you, every day you will get a new video. Um, and don't forget, on the 25th video, I will be picking uh, somebody that, that comments on Instagram, I'm taking comments on Instagram, I'm taking comments on YouTube, and the most comments, a $25 gift card will be going out to that special individual. I hope you all can win, but follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and here on YouTube. Okay, these are just about done. I'm going to give these a couple more mix, and we'll head over to the cutting board. Alright, so I have a 9 by 
11, 9 by 13, glass, glass Pyrex. I'm just going to give that a quick spray on the bottom with a little bit of oil. You could hit it with butter if you'd like. Nothing fancy. This part is where all you're going to do, now remember your pot's still going to be hot, and you're going to just scoop out all of it right into the center. Stop. Okay, and everything right into the middle. Okay, now at this point, you're just going to grab wax paper. I want you to push it down. It's the best way to actually even this out. All right, so Rice Krispies are inside the refrigerator with the peanut butter and the marshmallows, the butter, folks. 90% of it's done. But we're going to have to top it. And why not top it? Listen, this is not sponsored, but I want you guys to go and get the right stuff. Um, this makes a difference. This is an excellent chocolate, very inexpensive, but then you add this one to it as well. Why? Because right here it says made with hazelnut, real hazelnut. So you know how I used Nutella in a previous episode with the waffles? Well, this is Nutella in a solid form. Basically, where do you get these? Again, not a sponsor. Aldi's, cheap, excellent, the real deal, Holyfield, best chocolate you can buy out there. Go get some. I'm just gonna break it up, melt it down, and then we'll have some fun. All right, so I broke up those two chocolates. You can see them here, right? You can see the light and the dark, the hazelnut. Have it just sitting on top of a double boiler. Um, and we're going to let these melt. At this point, I'm actually going to just shut the heat and just let it melt on its own. And look at that. So remember, we got peanut butter, but now we have hazelnut. This is going to be fun. All right, so Rice Krispies are out. And I did something a little special. Look at that. Made a little star. Put it on a stick. I'm going to take some of this lovely chocolate that we have here and for the star we'll cover the whole thing because why not? Remember folks this is the chocolate with the hazelnut and the dark 70% uh, cacao. Let it drip everywhere. This doesn't have to be difficult. Okay. We'll let this rest right here. And for that, let's add a little color. So we'll add a couple of sprinkles onto that. Make that look fun. You know what also is fun? Mickey. Right? So I cut them into Mickey Mouses. Right? Rice Krispies, peanut butter, Mickey Mouse. This one, let's just do the ears real quick. Make sure you get all the ears and I hope a couple of you do these at home. Simple, easy, you have kids, kids will love it. Go with the Mickey, the traditional one, right? They always go across just the top, do that little in there. There's our Mickey. This one, just simple, just cut a square. And this one will just get a little bit of the chocolate, not too much. Nice and easy, little decoration. And then for our other Mickey, well, let's make this one very similar. So we'll do this, I'll take my chocolate, And we'll go across. We'll make a couple of designs on Mickey. Now you know what? Let's cover Mickey. You know why? Because I got an idea. One, because we have the chocolate. Two, it's peanut butter. So what would taste better on that? 
some peanut butter chips. There you have it, folks. Rice Krispies, peanut butter, Rice Krispie treats. Look at that, lots of fun. Well, there you have it, folks. Peanut butter, Rice Krispie treats, Mickey style, little touch of Disney. Day three, here we go. You know what that tastes like? Like I'm walking right down the middle of Main Street. I hope you enjoyed everything you saw today. Please make these at home. Follow us on, on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Is it, there is a TikTok coming out. Maybe I'll do some dancing right down the middle of Main Street. Till next time, everybody. Thank you.